What's going on folks? You ever had a problem with your Chevy Traverse from about the 09, probably about up to about the 16, as well as probably on your your um what's it your enclaves, your Buick Enclaves, as well as a couple other vehicles to where when you put gas in your vehicle, after you go to turn it back on, it won't start up correctly. It just go chit 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 like that. Then eventually it may start up. Most of the time, most likely what your problem is is that you need a new purge valve on your vehicle pretty much that's up underneath the the engine compartment of or this cover right here that's on your vehicle so what you want to do is just first thing you got to do is take off your oil cap right there you just kind of want to lift up if you're working on traverse you just lift up like that and you should be able to get this whole piece up like that and once you have that up if you look right here this is your purge valve right here when this goes bad right there It'll cause your vehicle to run funny. Sometimes it may sputter when you're driving. Other times, like I said, once you turn your vehicle off and put gas inside of it, it'll cause your vehicle to not want to start up right. Sometimes it'll start up, other times it won't start at all. This is what it looks like right here. This is called your purge valve. It's a pretty simple replacement. All you gotta do is take out one screw, which I'm gonna show you in a second. All right, right here is your purge valve. I'm gonna show you how you would test this valve. What you wanna do to test this valve to see if it's working right is first what you wanna do is disconnect your hose from it, which is right. You just wanna kinda squeeze this green button right here and that'll disconnect that. You wanna come right here and pull off your electrical connection like that and once you have these two lines removed off of it kind of set that aside somewhere well i just put it down here what you want to do is is now start your vehicle up and if your valve when you disconnected the power electrical harness to it this valve should be closed which means there shouldn't be no vacuum that's on this line right here so if i start this vehicle up and the process of it running there's a vacuum right here that tells me that this valve right here is bad and that it's stuck open i'm gonna test it i'm gonna start the vehicle up and i'm gonna see if it has suction to it by using this piece of paper right here to see if it sucks on i'm gonna start it up now Now that I have the vehicle started up, there shouldn't be any suction vacuum coming from this line right here. If I feel vacuum, that means that it's actually stuck open and it should be closed. See how it's sticking to it? I can feel the vacuum on it right there, which is telling me that this purge valve right here is actually stuck open. And that's why this paper is sticking to it like that, because it's stuck open. So next I'm going to be doing is changing out this purge valve. I'm going to turn the vehicle off and show you how to do that. So now that I have this vehicle off, it's pretty simple to change it. If you look down below it, I'll show you the other one. There should be like a size 10 screw on it. And all you're gonna do is take that screw out, like I'm doing right here. You take a size 10. Like I said, you wanna disconnect the line and electrical connection to it. And once you have that screw out, you just kind of want to pull it just like that, and it'll come free. And if you can see, it looks exactly like this one right here, which is the new one I'm going to be putting in. And pretty much now it's just a reverse process. All you want to do is take this one, you want to put it in with the screw facing toward the back, and your electrical plug-in as well as your evaporator hose right here. You just kind of want to take it. You'll see the hole and push it in just like that. And once you have it in, then you're just going to want to go ahead and tighten up your screw back into place down there. Get your screw back in. It's a pretty simple job, so take no more than 15, 20 minutes to do it. And once you do that, go ahead and plug back up your electrical harness and plug your line back up onto it pretty much and you'll be done all right folks once again this is what the problem could be if you have a chevy traverse as well as like a buick enclave or something like that to where when you put gas in your vehicle at the gas station when you go to start it back up 
it won't start up no it won't start back up right it takes a long time to start up most likely your purge valve which is this right here is actually gone bad which means it's stuck open it's not closing like it's supposed to all right folks please check out our other helpful videos please like subscribe and share thanks